the Lambrettas. Right then, guys. Lambretta vlog time. We've had some ray issues with this bad boy. Oh, look at this, not as bad a problem as these guys are having. Hot curb knocked down there, I don't know what they've got there. I'm glad that wasn't me. Right, um, yeah, the, the problem's bad with this, you wouldn't believe. We're checking it all over and giving it a right wipe and that. The bloody engine mount, where the bolt goes through into the engine mount and onto the frame, fucking cracked. It was bloody cracked, so I took some pictures, but they're not very good. You can kind of see what they are, so I'll try and put one of them in here, if I can. So that's what it looked like, provided I could do the, uh, provided I could get a screenshot onto the computer. Um, so yes, yeah, so they were a bit of a bitch, so obviously, didn't, I mean, it's not the end of the world. I'm, I'm out of sorted it already, it took about a week. But uh, obviously I have to take the petrol tank out which we'll come on to in a minute because that's a whole other story. Uh, take the petrol tank out and take the toolbox and stuff and drop the engine just to sort of below the bike and just sort of did it, just sort of in situ. Rather than taking it off somewhere to get them to do it, my cousin's boyfriend can weld. Well, a lot better than me anyway, so... We've got him to do it basically, so we did it for free. Well, I'll just give him, uh, give him some tobacco. Uh, right, sorry, I had to break off calling calling to see my mum. Uh, yeah, the fucking frame were cracked. So, got him to weld it and all that. Just a bit, it was just the inconvenience really, stripping it down to do it, to get in to do it. I suppose a super skilled welder would be able to just sort of, you know, feed the uh, rod into the gap and get it done. But, to be fair, you, I had to get in there to strip all the paint off as well, because you can't just weld over the paint, obviously. So, I had to take all that off, you know, with a grinder and flap wheels and shit like that, so. So it's sorted, so that's it, I'll give it, um, he welded it, I dressed it a bit to make it a bit more presentable, but it doesn't, doesn't look particularly good to be honest, but I don't really give a shit, it, it's definitely got old. So I um, painted it with a couple of coats of, uh, come on, zinc, zinc based primer stuff, because uh, it's a bit more waterproof, uh, a bit more, you know, water resistant and stuff, stop it rusting, did that, then painted it, brushed on some hammerite. I just want it to be protected, so so that's that. Let's just get some fuel. So yeah, this tank always had a, a leak on it, which were like did your head in a bit. It wasn't bad. It wasn't like you were losing much fuel or out. It just like everything would be covered in petrol all the time. Um, so I thought right. Well, 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 to be honest, I didn't think I'd fix it. I bit me, you know, shot me in the foot a bit, really. So we're taking it out and I sort of must have knocked it and made the tiny little crack or whatever it was, little hairline got worse and it was dripping then and I thought, oh great, so that's that. So uh spots one at Lads and he had a brand new one. It's like a 13 litre tank is this now, like a long distance tank, but not a super long distance one like them ones where you can't have a uh, toolbox, because I need the toolbox. So it's like a slightly more longer distance tank. Uh, so he had one anyway, so I'll just give him money and buy off him, because that one that I had were really old, it had problems. He could still get it welded, but I didn't want to have to piss about and taking it, taking that to get welded then. Losing all the time I'd just saved by getting my pal to weld the frame. So, that was that. So I just got the other tank off him, to put it on. And it's in and on, so hopefully we're all alright. But anyway... It's a sunny day and we're out and about having a ride on it, so I'm happy, <laughs> even if it's just for today, you know what I mean? And, uh, and I, want, uh, I was dying to do a vid, so there you go, there's your vid. So thanks for watching, subscribe, give it a thumbs up and all that, if you feel that way inclined. Thanks a lot guys, see you in a bit.